Well, I think the biggest challenge today in colon cancer treatment is can we find some way to trick the immune system into being more reactive in colon cancer. I mean, it seems like there's some tumors where the uh, T cells are in the tumors and they're ready to go and they're just being held back by PD-1, such as melanoma. When you give them the anti-PD-1 the anti antibodies, they can work very well. And then there are some where they're, the cells are there, but they need to be activated more. And then there's like colon cancer where the cells aren't even there yet. So we have to find a way to kind of improve the immunogenicity of colon cancer and um, get the cellular immune system to start recognizing the, um, immune, the tumor um, antigens better so that we can take advantage of the new immunotherapy. And at Rutgers, we're doing a study with some of our surgeons on resectable lung metastases using vaccination to kind of see if we can goose the T cells into being more reactive. And I mean, those kind of approaches, I think, are the future of where we want to go with immunotherapy and colon cancer. For this particular meeting today at GI ASCO, I think there'll be more interesting immunotherapy data coming out for some of the GI tumors, uh, esophageal, gastric, HCC is, they're very um, interesting data today looking at how to incorporate immunotherapy in later lines of, of therapy. In terms of colon cancer, I think we'll be seeing more on understanding the molecular basis in terms of some additional studies on these um, large prospective randomized phase three trials like 80405.